what are your reflections on, on the draw at Anfield, your first ever appearance? Yeah, what well, a good, good game to go into. Well, wind of a game. And uh, I was really impressed with all the players, you know, the way we, we played the game, especially in the first half. Second half, they're always going to get rallied up by their fans and come back strong. But yeah, I was really impressed. And I think on another day, if we'd maybe took one of our chances earlier or not conceded at such a crucial stage, then we could have had a really positive result. Yeah, having run a Champions League challenger so close, mm -hmm. does that, to a degree, make you even more enthusiastic about the next few months and, and the team yeah. you've joined? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm under no illusions, you know, I know it won't all be plain sailing and stuff, and there will be times where we have to pick ourselves back up again. But I think if we can get close, as close to the performance that we've done at Anfield, then we should be okay. Yeah, I know you've played at Villa Park before, but how much now are you looking forward <coughs> to a home debut? Yeah, I can't, I'm you know really happy, and I can't wait to you know be getting back on the green stuff consistently, you know, and uh, start to really really express myself and you know show people what I can do. Have you played in many derby matches before? In uh, two, two before as derbies to note. Uh, Norwich against Ipswich and uh, Nottingham against Derby. Well, how how were they to play? Then? They were good Derby, yeah. yeah, good good uh, good games, and they went uh, quite positive, I think. Yeah, I won the Norwich one, and I won the Nottingham Forest one, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, because they are. I know the cliches are. Yeah, you take each game uh, as mm -hmm. as the same as another one, but there is something a bit extra, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, of course, you want to win. You want the bragging rights around when you take your family out uh, shopping or something to eat. Yeah. And how have you settled in with the rest of the lads? Are they, they're a good bunch, aren't they? Decent, decent yeah, bunch, very good they? bunch, you know. Great bunch, great bunch of lads. Everyone's, you know, young and hungry and wants to, wants to progress. Nice one. Good well, stuff. Do you the move? Did you have sort of say to you that, you know, the door is always going to be too impressed with? Yeah, that sort of chat. Because obviously you can come across as a bit stubborn in terms of his favourites and the players that he wants them. Some of the guys are struggling to get it. Um, you know, personally, we've never, you know, had any, had any, f uh, you know, like falling outs or, but at the same time, I mean, I'd really had many reassurances. So, you know, it's just, I thought it's in my hands now. Let me take it into my own hands. Uh, get out on loan and start to play my football again. Is it the same like that across the board, or do you sort of, is it harder to play not to take it personally when manager is quite detached from it? Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Being human, being natural, yeah, it is kind of. But you know, is it is a job, is a a profession, and you just have to be professional at all times. Villa and Fulham have obviously got a reputation now for getting players that were you know, on the fringe and bringing them through and developing them. Was that a factor in terms of where you're going to go on that? Yeah, precisely. You know, I've seen that happen before. You know, players come here, they develop really well and, you know, and the players there usually have a link with their club to go back to. But, you know, like I said, in the summer, you never know what can happen.